if you ever walk into a room and find yourself surrounded by a few hundred fish swimming in clear plastic bags, chances are you're at an aquarium fish auction. Ten dollars. Anyone else? Ten dollars. This one's at the Jim Martin building at the State Fairgrounds in Raleigh, and it's hosted by the Raleigh Aquarium Society. Like any hobby, you can get into it at whatever level you want to get into. We do our best to reduce the level of stress on the fish as a club. Opening bid at $10 on the peacocks. Larry Jinks is the auctioneer, but he admits he's really a retired biology teacher with over three decades in breeding fish. I didn't realize what the uh, what an underground movement you had in, in aquariums and in fish breeding. But there's, a, there's, a, there's a cult of you folks it, out here it, in North Carolina. That's what my wife said. She said, I can't believe there are people like you down here, too. You just go ahead and bid. You put your card up when Larry says, you know, I got a fish, I got a plant, I got this, and you listen to what people say about the description on it, and then we have different people trying to outbid you along the way, like, like, like a normal auction. This is Epiplati, Chaparai, and Gona. It's as if you must know of the fish auction to find it, and if you find it, the door's wide open, and the Raleigh Aquarium Society is a friendly crowd, and they have a serious love for these exotic fish. We've been around for 33 years with the third oldest club in the southeast, maybe about the 10th or 12th oldest in the country. Joshua Weigert of Batfish Aquatics brings his fish to the North Carolina auctions. It's actually a much bigger thing than people realize. Uh, pretty much any weekend there's several auctions going on. Mary Grace Curiel is a rookie fish keeper and Tyler Scoville a veteran. They're both here to bid and have done their homework. Yeah, look at that list in your hand. What is that all about? <laughs> well, um, I'm trying to find some fish. He's trying to find some fish, so hopefully we'll yeah, get some at a good price. I've been price. keeping about 12 years now. so You definitely need to know what you're buying ahead of time. It's not something where you can come in and say, take one blue one and one red one and uh, one pink one, and I hope they don't kill each other. Even if you, quote, don't know fish, you can learn about them and pick up a locally sourced yet exotic breed from one breeder's aquarium to yours.